struggling with motion alerts from your Joanne camera using the Cam 720 app. Not sure how to fine turn the settings? Follow us, dive into the Cam 720 app to solve these problems together. Rocky, you gotta help me with this Joanne camera. This Cam 720 app keeps boxing my phone for every little thing. The car passing by, it will change in sunlight and better turn it off completely. Do not turn it off. The motion detection is powerful, you just need to set it up correctly. The default settings are often too broad. Let me show you how to customize it on the CAM 720 app. Perfect, let's do it. First open your CAM 720 app and make sure you are connected to your camera like you. Now look for the settings icon. It might be a gear symbol or three dots in the corner. Tap on it. In the settings menu, we need to find motor motion detection or alarm settings. Let's tap into that. Okay, I see. There's a big switch here for motion detection. That's the master switch. Step one is always to make sure this is enabled. Is it on for you? Yeah, it's on. That's why I'm getting so many alerts. Right now, let's refine it. Look for sensitivity or detection sensitivity. Here we go. The CAM 720 app usually has level like high, medium, low or a numerical scale. High numerical scale 8 to 10. Very sensitive. Good for monitoring a baby's room but can be triggered by insects or small shadows. Medium numerical stage 4 to 7. The best balance for most situations. It detects people and larger animals well while ignoring most minor disturbance. Low numerical which is 1 to 3 only triggers on significant close movement Use this in very busy areas where you only want critical alerts. I'll go with medium then. Great, now one of the most useful features, detection area. Not all CAM 720 app version have this, but let's check. Excellent, your version has it. See this grid? You can draw a rectangle over the area you want to monitor. For example, just cover your front door and yard. I'll leave out the sidewalk and road. This is a game changer, so I can literally tell the camera to only watch my property line. Exactly. This will eliminate most of your false alarm from public areas. Now let's look for the alarm timing setting. It might be called alarm interval or push interval. Here it is. Alarm interval. The default is often always, which means an alarm for every single motion event. If you set it to 5 minutes after the camera sends you one alert, it will wait 5 minutes before sending the next one for motion in the same area. This stop notification spam if someone is lingering in the frame. That makes so much sense. Always oh, it's too much. I will say to 5 minutes. In addition, you can see that there is a warning sound option below, which is turned off by default. If you need to alert people to leave the monitoring area, you can turn it on. Select the appropriate warning sound, record your own unique warning sound, or adjust the volume of warning sound. If you are using a camera indoors, do not turn it on as it can easily scare yourself and the cats and dog at home. Uh, Rocky, that's the time. The camp stand on the app makes so much more sense now. I've got the sensitivity on medium, set detection error, and at a 5 minute interval, my phone is finally peaceful. The warning sound is also great, but I don't need it now. Awesome. Remember the key steps. Tap on master switch, then tap on sensitivity, then tap on detection area, then tap on alarm interval. Enjoy your smarter camera. We hope this guide helped you master motion detection on your Joanne camera with the 720 app. For more support, click online customer service in the app to get follow us to get more helpful tips.